Mortgage rates fell by nearly a half percentage point this week, the biggest weekly drop since November 1981. According to Freddie Mac, the average 30-year fixed mortgage rate has dropped to 6.61%, down from 7.08% just the previous week. The drop follows a steep fall in the 10-year Treasury yield last week after the government reported that inflation began to show signs of slowing last month. So, is it a good time to buy a house now? Or is this just a brief calm before the storm, before the Fed continues to raise rates in its war on inflation? In just a year, the housing market has changed dramatically, and mortgage rates are the driver. The average interest rate on a 30-year fixed mortgage has more than doubled, owing largely to the highest inflation in 40 years. This inflation has already caused the Federal Reserve to raise its key interest rate several times this year. Those big changes mean higher monthly payments for home buyers, even though home prices have begun to fall in many areas. Even with the current average 30-year fixed rate mortgage dropping, a $300,000 mortgage still has a monthly payment between $600 and $1,900 more than it did back in January, when the 30-year average was 3.22%. But this doesn't seem to phase some home buyers, since the unexpected drop was still able to provide relief to price constrained home buyers and sellers who were still in the market, which is now boosting activity in an otherwise sluggish market. According to Adriana Perischica, president of Via Real Estate, the drop in rates incentivized buyers to rush and try to lock rates this weekend. The difference in demand was significant. She also mentioned that until recently, Buyer demand had weakened as borrowers struggled to keep up with rising interest rates and home prices. However, they are still unsure how long this rate drop will last. According to the latest Mortgage Bankers Association application survey, demand for mortgages increased last week, with the volume of purchase applications increasing 4%. Nonetheless, rising home prices and persistent inflationary pressures continue to exacerbate housing affordability concerns especially since the historically low interest rates from the start of the year remain fresh in buyers' minds. For example, the volume of purchase applications is down 46% from a year ago, when rates were at 3.1%. According to Realtor.com, buyers may still be hesitant to proceed with transactions if they're concerned about the erratic nature of current mortgage rates. Some buyers may want to wait to see if interest rates fall even further, However, with inflation still above 7%, the mortgage market is far from safe. According to the National Association of Home Builders, home builders are similarly pessimistic about the market, with confidence in the industry falling for the 11th consecutive month. According to Realtor.com, the share of homes with a price reduction was 20.9% in October. That's up from 10.6% a year ago. In November, 37% of builders reduced their prices, up from 26% in September, with a 6% average price reduction. Builders are also offering buyers to buy points and perform buy-downs. According to Adriana Perischica, higher interest rates and rising home prices have hampered home sales. Despite the rate decrease, some buyers that they have spoken with have expressed concern about a possible recession and their ability to afford a monthly mortgage payment in the near future. They're not sure if this is the right time to buy. And with the Fed signaling more rate hikes, mortgage rates are expected to remain high in a volatile market through the end of the year. Some home buyers also expressed their concern about the sudden rate drop as the memory of interest rates going from 2.5% to 7% in the same year is still fresh in their minds. Some home buyers even doubt Freddie Mac's recent mortgage drop report, saying that they only changed the method of calculating the rate to give the completely false impression that rates had actually dropped. Some actually think that the realtors and mortgage companies are pushing an agenda due to the fact that no one was buying or refinancing a few months ago when rates were still around 6.6%. But now that they've dropped to that level after rising half a point, there's a surge in activity. Regardless, the recent decrease in mortgage rates is just a part of a vicious cycle in the housing market, and this will only ease the middle class to upper middle class home buyers who are now also feeling the strain of buying a home. Regardless of the interest rates, the housing market will still be broken and the American dream out of reach for many.
Despite having a good educational background, finishing college, and even pursuing a master's degree, many are still working hard, long hours with unpaid overtime. Yet the cost of housing, thanks to large corporations perching up the housing, is still way too high for most to achieve. This vicious cycle in which you save for a down payment to buy a house, then interest rates rise, and the house you could afford the monthly payments for is now too expensive. Then banks want a higher down payment due to fears of failing home prices. So now you have to save even more. And in the meantime, rates go up again. But now that interest rates have dropped a tiny bit, you will have to act fast because you are competing with the mega corporations and big Wall Street firms that are going to buy more newly built and existing houses. And with white collared buyers paying in cash, both first time home buyers and renters will be displaced. So are you taking advantage of this drop in interest rates or do you think it will drop further? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Hit the notification bell so that you can be updated whenever we release new videos. We'll talk more next time.